Hello and welcome, I'm Son of Mogaf and this is Two Video Tuesday. This game is one that I got gifted over the holiday period and I I really don't know anything about it. I mean, it's called Feath, Feath Simulator. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious what it's about. But I, I've never played this. Apparently this is a game that I'm going to enjoy. So, um, as you can see, I've not even done anything with it so i'm just gonna start a new profile i'll call it I, I wasn't i wasn't typing anything i'm gonna call it youtube so i can keep my single player and my uh, youtube one you know separate uh let me check the options quick that actually looks all right i'm just gonna drop that fps cap down right um Okay, let's jump in and see what this is like. This is uh, going to be interesting. All right, so it's taken a while to load. What I'll do is I'll cut back when the loading's done. Okay, here we are in Feath Simulator. Oh, is that me? He, lo <laughs> he looks like a... A cheap version of uh, Agent 47. Oh, some guy called Vinny is calling me. Let's answer that. Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. Oh, right. Okay, so this is like the tutorial section, I'm assuming. Oh, have I got to do this every time? Lombardi's paid your bail. The Lombardi's? Who the hell is that? Reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. Uh, okay. So it's telling me to press I for my inventory. Of which I've got just this crowbar. Oh, I can rotate it. Woohoo! Hey, woo! Can you imagine doing this with a crowbar in real life? You'd need some kind of, like, psychic powers, wouldn't you? Look. Way! I can't believe I'm having fun just playing with the items in the inventory. That tends to be a good sign. <laughs> or a really bad sign. Uh, let's find out which. This is highlighted. What's that about? Um, I, I feel like I missed a tooltip somewhere. Right there. Uh, th that did what exactly? Tutorial for the quick slot. T. You can add items to the quick slot for fast use. Oh, that's what I did. Oh, all right, I got you. So if I go... Okay, now I've got to break the fence. Okay, here. Oh, God! That was really erupt. It made me jump a little bit. Sneak by the window. Sneaking tutorial? Sneaking allows you to make less noise, but it will make you slower. You can also lean. Okay, so, C? Alright. So it's a, a stealth game. It looks alright. The graphics aren't that bad, really. Oh, look, there's somebody right there. Do, do I have to wait for them to move? Or can I just sneak by? They appear to be stuck in a peering loop. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? What do we do now? Um, light and visibility. When sneaking around at night, it's best to avoid wheel lit places. Your flashlight will make you easy to spot. Do I have a flashlight? Avoid light. Okay. Oh, there's a guy there. Hello, guy. I, I feel like the beeping of my phone would give me away to that guy, but all right. Some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. All right, then. That guy's got a weird accent. Okay, so avoiding the light. And... Oh, so, okay, so that's the flashlight. Break the window with a crowbar, left mouse button. Is that not going to make noise? People are going to hear that, aren't they? Interact. E. 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 Lock picking for glass knife. Okay, so I'll just... Wow, that was easy. 
<laughs> and he still opens it. All right. <laughs> F, toggle flashlight. Oh, my God, there's tutorial bits all over the damn place. What? Uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little well. Okay. T for flashlight. Flashlight will help you see the loot in the dark. Remember, you're easier to detect with the flashlight on. I'm going to assume that I'm not going to get caught. Cool. Oh, oh, phew, hello. Uh, all right, can I, can I steal any of this? It's a thief simulator. I should be able to steal this stuff, shouldn't I? Oh, that's flashing. Oh, oh, steal the teapot. Man, that's not on. What is that? Oh, a regular pot. I'll steal that as well, I guess. Oh, is that cash? I'll have the cash. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, oh, I can open drawers and stuff. That's cool. Can I get those ones? I can. Ooh, money. Can I steal the shoes? No? Okay, so you can tap it to open and close slowly. Uh, hold it, sorry, to open and close slowly, or tap to do it quickly. I get it. Uh, still some stuff, all right. Some cash, an old toaster. Oh my Time to god. Bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Right, so I need to hide my crowbar. There's still more stuff to steal here, surely. Ooh, open this. No? No? Oh! Oh! Can I steal the oven? Oh! I can, I can steal the saucepan. That look, actually looks like a frying pan to me, but... Alright, so if I crouch, how do I get rid of this crowbar then? Do I just... Okay. It's easy enough. Am I still... No, alright, crouch. Oh, right, what's this? Unwanted attention. Unequip tools and turn off the flashlight to avoid un unwanted attention. Unwanted, I nearly said. What am I doing? Hide the crowbar, go outside to your car. Okay, so I don't need to sneak anymore, right? Damn, he runs quick as well. Oh, look at this. So I can get in this? Do I actually drive this or is it just like a, a point of interest? Start the engine. Oh my god, I can actually drive the car. Drive out of the location. What, what's, what does that mean? I just have to... Drive around? Um... Oh my god, the acceleration on this thing. Uh... I'm not sure what I'm doing or where I'm going here. Damn, this is actually quite a fast car. Oh! Do I just turn here? Is that what I do? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making this up as I go along. Oh, there we go. I've got an A rating, apparently. On the tutorial level, you probably can't get anything lower than that, can you? This is a weird freaking game. Go inside. Well, there's a difficult <laughs> thing to achieve. Good job, man. This just might work. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. That's not what the accent was at all. I'm bad at accents. So that's locked. Okay. Oh, do I sleep on on a sofa? Is this like where I live? I mean, it's nicer than my first apartment. So, I, I mean, I shouldn't complain really. Sleep. What the hell is this? Sleep? Oh, it's... <laughs> do! You? It's it's asking me when I want to sleep till. I'll just sleep until four. I'll just get a few hours sleep like I do in real life. Okay, so it's... Four o'clock down. Now what do I do? Oh. That, that was weird. I was expecting some kind of prompt or transition or something. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Um, I've got some weird background music. Can I turn that off? That's quite distracting. What's this? Tools for thieves let you buy new kit online. 
but you might not have what it takes to use them all. Right. Click on steal your forum. Steal your forum. <laughs> sure. Why not? Here you can buy secrets, hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Okay. Oh, it's the first one. 109, the Martins, Greenview. So I just click there, yeah? Easy to break the damaged wooden fence in the back. Old TV worth a buck. Spare door key in the drawer. Uh, so I can rub it twice, I guess. Does the stuff respawn? I'm not sure how this game works. I'm not sure how life works. I don't know what I'm doing. Help. And there's no one home all the time. Oh, so this is, that's got to be the tutorial house then, isn't it? It's like a practice house. So what, I just have to... Hint discovered. Old TV worth a buck. Spare, oh, it's just reading back the stuff that I did. What, what's going on here? Oh, Jesus, no Vinny. You looted the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Okay, so where's the pawn shop? I'm assuming I don't live at one. I, I, I appear to live at some kind of garage lockup kind of area. Do I have to get in the... I, I'm assuming I have to get in the car for this. What, what is that? Oh, that's storage. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, there you go. Pawn shop. That was easy. Yeah, I'm a master thief already. Sell stuff at the pawn shop. Welcome back. What is wrong with your face? It it looks badly made. This is where I sell my stuff. Right, okay, it makes sense. Eight bucks for an old teapot that appears to be sideways for some reason. Upside down pot for eight bucks. Um, what is that? Sideways toaster for three bucks. And a frying pan for eight bucks. I now have 72 bucks. Damn. Crime pays, apparently. For Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. Right, so I've got to go to that house and steal the TV. I mean, $72 doesn't sound like much, but I was in that place for like five minutes. If somebody was going to give you $72 for five minutes work, I mean, you'd probably do it, wouldn't you? So I have to go to Greenview Street. I wonder if you unlock more streets as you progress. Steal an old TV from Greenview 109. Load it in the car trunk and drive home. All right. So I need to... Oh, it's on the map. I just looked down in the bottom left and realised that all the houses are numbered. I was like, how am I supposed to know which one 109 is? So... I think I can see a breakable fence there where that thing is marked. So if I just drive, like, down here... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want to park on the pavement, cause suspicion. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Right, um, let me crouch. This is an interesting game. I'm tempted to say I didn't know it was like this, but I didn't know what it was like, so it's a bit of a redundant statement. That is startling every time. It's like so sudden, you just click and it goes smack! The whole fence comes down. So, steal an old TV. Oh, can I see it through the wall? Oh, that's convenient. So if I... All right, I'll just climb right in there then. So there's the TV. I'm going to go steal a bunch of other stuff first. This is just for me. Nothing in... Is that a wardrobe? It's like the thinnest wardrobe in human history. All right. Um, garbage bag next to the bed, because where else would you put it? So I've got the key. Oh, another frying pan. 
Oh, this person has two frying pans in their... Whatever this is. Kitchen? There's no sink. I've just realised. How do they do their washing up? Oh, another old toaster. Oh, and a pot. I'm just stealing kitchen utensils. I know, like, the quest is to steal the... The TV. There's no toilet in this place. Ah, right. Uh, another garbage bag? Sure. Can I... Can I... Oh! Oh! I'm, I, I may have broken the toilet. Uh, right, okay. Maybe time to, you know, not be here. Again, I'm assuming this is like a tutorial level or house thing. That, you know. Uh, anyway, let's grab that. Big items. T. To steal big items. To steal a big item, TV, printer, etc., put it in the car's trunk and drive home. To sell big items at the pawn, you need to put them next to the shop owner. To sell big items at pawn. I think that's supposed to be at the pawn shop, but I... Well, you just put it straight down. Oh. Oh, God, that really does make you slow. I'm not entirely sure I want to go out the front door. Oh, God. I can't open doors with it? Can I just... go out the window? I'm assuming I can't jump out of a window carrying a TV. Oh, God. Oh, hello! Money! Money, money, money! Money! Oh! <laughs> just throw that right out the window then, yeah? Why not? Right, okay, so I'm not allowed to be seen with this. And... Is there anyone around? Doesn't look like it. There is a car there. Are you turning this way? Oh, 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 let me... Now I can't see the damn car. Right, okay, so I just go to my car then. This is a fun game, actually. It's simple so far, but... Uh, it's annoying that I have to put that down every time I want to do something. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I put that away, huh? So I can just leave with that TV. Oh, there's a guy, like, right there. Um, okay, let's turn around. Oh, this, wow, that was a tight turn. I was expecting to have to do, like, a... A J turn or a three point turn or something. I didn't. I just. Just scoot that straight round. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. The steering is really weird. Oh, no. Um. Let me go to the pawn shop and. I'm not gonna sit. I'm not allowed to sell the TV, but I can sell the other stuff, can't I? Oh, I got an S ranking. Oh, and a level up. You can level up in this game? How does that work? Can I steal stuff better? How do I level up? Um. Yes, yes, all right. You got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Black Bay? What is that? Oh, the story says go to your computer. Um. So how do I? How do I level up? Skills. Oh, notes. Oh, that's the stuff from that. Skills. Okay, so there's like a skill tree. What is this? Skill points remaining. Lock picking level one. Open easy locks with a lock pick. Let's see what other skills there are. Lock picking two, three, four. Remove security from devices using hacking tools. Disable power switches. Ooh, you can hack things? I guess that's needed if you want to steal people's phones. Car theft? Theft. Theft, theft, theft. Theft. With two Fs. One at the beginning, one at the end. Uh, appraise more items on the spot. Uh, I guess it just tells me how much they're worth. Throw bricks. How does that help me rob people? Climb vines. Carry big items faster. That'd be useful. Climb on the house gutters. Alright. More backpack space. That would be a good one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just do that. All right, so we we leveled up. Oh, why? Did, no. Right, let's sell this our stuff to this guy. Um. Oh no, no, I don't sell saucepan and the saucepan. Three bucks for a toaster, but eight bucks for a frying pan. It seems a little backwards, but all right. Eight dollars for a pot. Oh, I'm up to one hundred and fifty-nine dollars. I'm gonna be a rich faith. I'm gonna steal everything from my neighbourhood. I don't know why I'm singing. Go to your computer, right? Oh, okay, I shall go ahead and do that. I like these little markers. They're obvious but unobtrusive. They don't like get in the way. Ah, you got a nice, nice high res arrow there for me. Thank I set you. Set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. <laughs> right. What's this? Tear trophy? Golden goblet? Vase? Car parts? Ah, oh, see, I should have saved the pot and the teapot. That's why you don't go to the pawn shop immediately. Gotcha. I'm going to have to remember that. So I'll have to go home, look at this for things that, you know, to sell, and then put everything else in the pawn shop. What was I doing? Oh, old TV. Sell. Eh, good work. Now. Oh, 50. Rent a thug oh, no, that wasn't 50, was it? That was... How much did I get for that? I wasn't looking. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. And the one with the dishes. Again, it wasn't that accent at all. Close. Break their dishes. <laughs> really? <laughs> It's so weird to me. Someone's gonna pay you or pay me fifty dollars to break somebody's dishes. Sure, I'll accept okay. that. Now drive back to one ten and break some dishes with the crowbar. Break some dishes with the crowbar. Sure, why not? I'll tell you what. What I'll do is I'll leave that for now, since we've got through the tutorial stuff and like we've got the. The first mission, which I'm assuming is going to be easy. I'll leave it there. I'll do another episode of this, and you guys can tell me whether you want to see me do more or not. In which case, you know, comment and like and stuff like that. Just let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm definitely going to play more. I'm, like, obliged to play more because, it's you know, it was a gift, and it's like a law that you've got to, you know, use gifts that people give you. But, um... I'm actually pleasantly surprised to this. It's it's strangely fun to um to be like, hey, this is what living in my hometown is like. If you're like on the other side, because you know it's not like I've ever broken into somebody's house, but now I can simulate breaking into people's houses without getting into trouble. Yay! I think. I guess well, that's what games is about, isn't it? Just Let's just see think the things from another point of view. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more. As always, don't forget, you know, comment and throw me some likes. And if you're new, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And it will make me a very happy MoGef. I will be back soon with more videos. I've actually got a lot on my plate at the moment in regards to video ideas. I still... Need to have a look at the update for Seven Days to Die. I want to do more Hitman. I'll be doing more Project Zomboid. I'll be doing more uh, Prison Architect. Um, I'll be doing more Reigns for sure, because that was super fun playing that this morning. And there was something else as well. I got another game gifted to me over the holiday period, and I don't even remember the name of it anymore. But I might leave that until next Tuesday. But... Um, Either way, thank you everyone for watching. I'll be seeing you soon. This is not how you exit, is it? Oh, wait, is it? it this might be how you exit. Break the dishes. 
Oh, yeah, there. Okay. Right, I'm out. What is wrong with your face?